This is Frankfurt's banking district at lunchtime. And that's Thomas Brause's busiest time of day. Not long ago, he was a high-flying stockbroker. But he lost his job last December when the global financial crisis hit. His life took an unexpected turn. Now, he's the proud owner of a snack bar. At lunchtime, a lot of friends drop by. He enjoys catching up on the latest news. But he says he gets the impression that many of his former colleagues are deeply frustrated. Basically, they're all fed up. They'd all like to do something different, but they don't know what. Thomas had always dreamed of opening a snack bar. Then, suddenly, it became a serious option. These two gentlemen on their lunch break work at the Commerzbank, which only survived the crisis thanks to a government bailout. They feel it's unfair to dismiss all bankers as greedy and selfish. For ordinary employees like ourselves, that really stings, and people don't realize that. They're missing the point. If you work in a bank, then obviously you have to take a bit of responsibility. You can't just insist that it had nothing to do with you. But in the department we work in, it's fair to say we did not actively contribute to the crisis. Thomas Brause is leading the way. Are any of his former colleagues likely to follow? Do others in the industry feel it's time for a fresh start? Nearby, a conference about banks and the financial crisis is taking place. Among the speakers here taking stock of the situation is Josef Ackermann, CEO of Deutsche Bank. He and other top executives from some of the world's leading banks have gathered in Frankfurt to discuss how lenders can rebuild trust in the global financial system. It seems like a good time to admit mistakes. What a difference a year can make. It's been a year since the collapse of Lehman Brothers. This weekend I read that 81% of the German public believes that the banks haven't learned anything. Some 350 representatives from international banks are attending the conference. The results are modest at best. Broadly, all they agree on is that there will be less risk-taking in the future. We will stick to the restrictions we have placed on risk-taking and risk-discipline. Away from Frankfurt's financial district, a number of smaller banks have been quicker to change their strategies. One example is Triodos, run by former Deutsche Bank manager Georg Schürmann. The bank's philosophy is to encourage corporate social responsibility and a sustainable society. Employees at Triodos have a fixed wage without bonuses. Georg Schürmann spent 20 years working at a regular bank. Then the crisis hit. His decision to switch to a so-called ethical bank was a deliberate one. I wholly identify with the concept because personally I believe in certain values and this is a way to incorporate them into my professional life. Triodos Bank supports enterprises with social, environmental and cultural value. It aims for optimal transparency, and these days that's just what appeals to clients. Many people feel we're living in an era defined not only by the financial crisis, but by other crises too. The climate crisis, the water crisis, poverty. People want to help bring about change. And change is what Thomas Brause was after when he set up his snack bar. It would take a lot to tempt him back into the world of banking. For now, he's happier in a different trade.